Pigeons. About a year ago, I got my first pair of Mack Weldon underwear and I have been hooked on the brand ever since. They offer some of the best underwear you can buy right now, whether it be boxers, briefs, trunks, boxer briefs, and this is actually one of their Merino t-shirts. They have t-shirts, they have hoodies, they have joggers, and today we're going to be taking a look at their new Vesper polo. Uh, you know, the mail wasn't very nice to my box. But, uh smashed in here. If you're interested in learning more about their underwear, I did a video where I compared them to MeUndies, and I'll put a link to the video right up top here. That being said, if you're not subscribed to my channel and you want more clothing reviews like these, please subscribe and share to keep more videos like this coming. You can also support by using my unique Mack Weldon link in the description if you do want to pick up some clothes from them. That lets them know you came from me, and it lets me know that you found this video very helpful. Mack Weldon sent me these polos for review, but not in time for my big polo roundup that I just did a few weeks ago. I'll put a link right up here to that. I compared Under Armour, Roan, Mizzen and Main, Ministry of Supply, and the Made Bonobos Golf brand. I compared all their performance polos. I did a field test where I went out and golfed for a while while wearing them and just gave you some of my thoughts on sizing and things there. So if you check out right up top here, I'll put a link to that. So using that as a basis of knowledge and knowing what's out in the market, I feel extra qualified to take a look at these polos today and tell you what I think. Now, if you didn't know this about me, I'm actually a huge James Bond fan and the Mack Weldon polo is called the Vesper polo. So it's tough not to see some parallel between that, especially when you take a look at the available colors of the polo. There's a baby blue polo that is uh, available. Now, unfortunately, when I got these, there weren't any in stock in my size, but that baby blue polo in the Vesper, I don't think there's more of a James Bond-esque uh, shirt out there that you could get for $65 because if you look at some of the clothing he wears in the movies, it's incredibly expensive. Right, so here's my dented box. I threw in a few other items when I was ordering these socks and underwear, but uh, here we have two of their polos. I ordered the white, I want to say this is a small, yeah, so I ordered a white investor polo in small and a blue in medium because I'm always between two sizes with these companies as you'll see in my previous uh, polo video. And so I wanna give you a little bit of guidance on what I think you could wear as far as how these are sized compared to other polos. And before we even open these, at $68, these aren't cheap polos, but with what I've seen from other Mack Weldon products from this shirt and from the underwear and socks that I've gotten, they have a very strong focus on quality and performance of their fabrics and materials. And compared to the other performance polos that I have received from the other companies, $68 is actually a pretty good deal. Uh, any of these, you know, Under Armour, Roan, Mizzen Main, Ministry of Supply, they were all above $68. I want to say they were, you know, $80 to $90 for each of them. Uh, you know, the, the Bonobos polos, they're up there as well. So $68 for these polos isn't bad when you look at the landscape that these are competing in. The material composition of these shirts is 94% combed cotton, 6% polyester, and they have a unique kind of uh, perforated pattern to them. I don't know if you can see in the video, but I can almost see through this uh, the shirt. So this is a very lightweight, very summer ready shirt uh, that you can wear. And uh, we'll talk about this pocket in a minute here. There's actually a comment on my previous video about this pocket that we'll get into. You know, I'll do first impressions and then I'll wear this all day and come back and talk about it because I have a very hot and humid day ahead of me running around and I'm gonna be interested to see how this performs. Uh, first impressions, this isn't the softest of the performance polo I've ever tried on. It has more of a uh, it has more of a substantial feel to it than some of the very soft shirts that I've tried on before. So this more resembles uh, the made performance polo from my previous video. In the white shirt in particular, it does e look even more see-through. There is this perforated look to it that I don't know I can really capture on video. Uh, the medium looks like it's going to be the perfect fit for me. If you look at my previous polo video, I talked about where you want the sleeve to sit right here. You can see the sleeve seam sitting perfectly on my shoulder. The small is probably going to be definitely too small. So if you're kind of looking at the two of them and you know that you typically wear a medium or a small like myself, uh, the medium seems to be about the perfect size for me, whereas usually I wear a small. This actually fits almost identically to the Ministry of Supply ply polos that I previously ordered. The small was too small, the medium fit me perfectly, uh, whereas with Mizzen and Main, the small fits me perfectly. Now a note on this pocket. If you read most polo guides and if you actually see my video where I mentioned this in the previous one, I had mentioned to stay away from shirts with a pocket on it because the pocket is usually 
uh, made from the same material as a shirt. It'll kind of sag and drag as the shirt ages. Uh, but I th think this is more applicable to a less well-made shirt. Uh, on this Mack Weldon shirt here, the top of this fabric has a double fabric reinforced stitch and you can see the angled uh, stitches on the top of the shirt. And so this is meant to keep the shirt in the pocket in strong form. Uh, if you had a shirt that was you know, a pure cotton shirt that wasn't well made, uh, mass produced, something like a Kohl's or a Macy's shirt with a, with a pocket on it, that's the kind of shirt you'd see drag. I strongly believe that this shirt will not uh, sag as you would with some of those other cheaply made shirts. So I just wanted to make that call out uh, before we go through here. So I'm gonna wear this shirt all day, see how it goes, and uh, let you know how it performs. Hey gents, I'm finishing this video from Vorsburg, Germany because I found the shirt so comfortable that I wore it on my red eye over to Amsterdam. I wore it all day in Amsterdam during my meetings, and then I wore it on the flight down to Stuttgart, the hour and a half drive into Vorsburg, and uh, I have to say, it is an incredibly comfortable shirt. I'll stick with my initial impressions. It's not the softest shirt necessarily, especially from in the polo realm when you're looking at performance polos, but because it is slightly perforated, it's incredibly breathable and it is incredibly comfortable. If you're between two sizes, like I am, I'm sometimes a small, sometimes a medium when it comes to short sleeve t-shirts, I would size up. This is a medium that fits me perfectly. The small that I tried on, I actually already sent back because it just didn't fit. Uh, it was just a little too small on the shoulders and a little too tight in the torso. I actually found a cotton t-shirt that had a small pocket at home before I left and uh, the, sh the pocket had kind of drooped a little bit but that was a kind of cheaply made Banana Republic pure cotton t-shirt. I believe that the material on this shirt is gonna hold up well over time. That remains to be seen but I will let you know as we go. A special shout out as well because every time I take these long flights I always wear the silver version of the Mack Weldon underwear. I put these on at 7.30 on Monday morning and then I took them off on Tuesday night uh, at what 10 o'clock Eastern time because I had to go uh, I had to take my red eye I had meetings in Amsterdam uh, flew down to Stuttgart drove into Wurzburg and so I had you know well over 30 hours wearing the same underwear and uh, it actually it smells totally fine it's, it's actually incredible uh, how well the, the silver works if you have any questions about the polos about Mack Weldon about any of the other companies that I reviewed comment below or reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram if you decide to buy anything from Mack Weldon, whether it be underwear or shirts, if you use my link in the description, that's my referral code, it'll let them know you came from me, lets me know that I'm doing a great job and that you found these reviews helpful. I don't have my camera, my microphone, my tripod, anything. I'm just shooting this on my phone. Uh, but thank you to everybody who spends your time watching my videos. Uh, there are a ridiculous number of hours of video uploaded every minute to YouTube. It's something, it's something like 50 hours are uploaded every minute or something very high. And the fact that you take the time to watch my videos and uh, listen to my opinions, I truly appreciate, uh, especially because I want to be there when you have a question about a product. Most people come to my videos by searching for a company or product they want to review on. And because you take the time to watch these, thumbs up, subscribe, and comment, I am there in the search results and I truly appreciate that. Thank you if you've already subscribed. Subscribe if you haven't to keep videos like this coming. And until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier.